Sidewalk sale, fresh trade for sale. Hi, my name's JP. I was in Bangkok. I just came from there and I'm traveling the world. Globalites, it's been two weeks since I arrived at Bangkok. And I know I think maybe in the last video, in the Ai Utaya video, I was like, I'm gonna show you so much Bangkok. But I think my goals in Bangkok kind of conflicted with me doing my normal thing, which is to go sightsee and show you different aspects and maybe show you a little bit of my life. So my goals were kind of all over the place. First and foremost, I was in Bangkok. I timed my time in Bangkok because I have side work that required me to be up till 2 a.m. on conference calls for four days in a row, four nights, four mornings, whatever. Just finished my conference call. It's late. I'm the only one in this co-working space and I'm cracked out right now. And that kind of threw off my sleep schedule. And then the second week had nothing to do with goals. It was just something that happens. I got sick. I kind of got sick and then I got really sick and then I got better and then I got really sick and then I just felt congested and it was gross and disgusting. Needless to say though, I've accomplished all of my other goals that I had in mind. I wanted to do a lot of shopping. I wanted to turn over my wardrobe because it was just so misshapen and discolored from just months of washing clothes improperly and wearing the same clothes over and over and over again. And you know, sightseeing was a little bit of something I did the last time I came to Bangkok, but I have a few friends in Bangkok and I really wanted to accomplish meeting them and, and hanging out with them. The first weekend, my friend Romel that I met in Luang Prabang took me out to the Sky Bar. And I'd been to a Sky Bar before, but this was a really casual Sky Bar. And everyone's kind of just chill. There's a good mix of locals and Barangs, which are uh, foreigners. Uh, so they could be foreigners living there or tourists. And we had a really good time. The view was incredible. And then we met up with a few of Romel's friends and we went to the quintessential gay bar in Bangkok, which is DJ Station. Many of you have been demanding gay stuff. Well, here we go. Now, technically this is a bar next to a whole bunch of other bars. There's like a big, huge complex, but DJ Station's the main like place to go and it has a cover of 300 baht, but you get two drink tickets. So it's still really cheap. And there was like sections for you to like hang out and lounge and then there was a big dance area in another part of it. a lot of fun getting to know Romel's friends and just hanging out and being among gay people. Romel's friends wanted us to go to this place called G-O-D. Yes, that is an acronym that spells the word God. Now, I don't know what the acronym actually stands for. There were a couple of theories and both are super inappropriate. Uh, G-O-D stood, stood for guys on display, maybe, or gays on drugs. And it would basically describe what we were seeing, which was a bunch of shirtless men in a club dancing to thumpa thumpa music that you can't really dance to unless you're on drugs. And then afterwards we went to Romel's and hung out for the rest of the morning. <laughs> uh, and then that's when I think, when the next day, I, that's when I think I first started getting sick. 
Uh, it's a good time, we had a good time. Then the weekend after that, I went to the Chattachak market with my friend Isabel, who I also met in Luang Prabang. I had gone there by myself uh, initially to do a little bit of shopping. So I had already acquired everything I wanted to get, but it was fun to hang out with Isabel and just check out the vibe of the market. I think you should get it. <laughs> it's cute. This one or this one? Um, I kind of like the one. This one? Yeah. There's always something new to see there because it's so huge. And even two times going there, spending like more than like seven hours there, I, I'm absolutely sure that I did not see everything at that market. So uh, that was really fun. And then later, I met up with Romel and his friends again, and we went to go play badminton. Hello. <laughs> hey. And you guys, I don't think I've ever formally played badminton. And everybody else said that, oh yeah, don't judge us, we suck at it. And they were all way better than me. I couldn't even like hit the little thing, the birdie. But it was kind of cool to kind of do an activity that like locals do and uh, there were lots of people there just hanging out, playing Batman. And then after Batman, we went to this kind of open air food, beer garden type thing. And there we enjoyed some good food. We drank two bottles of really cheap whiskey and, and had really good conversation. I really enjoyed hanging out with those guys. It was really fun. And then the next day was all about leaving Bangkok uh, and tying up some loose ends. I went to this far out bus terminal that's, I mean, like really far from the city. And that's where I caught my bus to take an 11 hour ride to the place I currently am, which will be revealed in the next video. If you can guess where I could have gone in 11 hours, let me know down in the comments below. So that's just a little bit of my time in Bangkok. I'm sorry that it wasn't like a follow me along vlog style kind of video. Okay, you guys, so this is the beginning of my last month and a half in Southeast Asia. And I'm, at this point, I'm going to power through all these places. I gotta get through the rest of Thailand. I gotta get through Malaysia. I gotta get to Singapore. I need to see a, a little bit of Indonesia, but I can't wait for you to come along on the ride with me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Follow me on all the social medias. Links are all down below. And subscribe because I'm posting videos every single week for the rest of my time in Southeast Asia. All right, thank you all so much for watching. And until next time, Get off the couch and go do great things. Bye!